is great. I am comfortable with the conducive learning environment here in Fortune Schools. Now, tell me about Fortune Schools. Fortune Schools comprise Scratch, nursery primary and secondary classes. We have to send for International General Certificate of Secondary Examination, that's the IGCSE. Yes, we also have standard facilities for both boarding and day students. Not only that, Fortune Schools have spacious and well ventilated classroom blocks with up to date library facilities and constant water and power supply. Also, in Fortune Schools, we have God fearing, motivated, and qualified teachers. In Fortune Schools, our school buses are always on ground to pick and drop us on time. We also have standard and state of the art ICT equipment. In addition to that, in Fortune Schools, high level of discipline is maintained and we also enjoy co curricular activities. In the school. In Fortune Schools, we are also known for zero tolerance in exam and practice. Fortune models good and responsible citizen for the world. Yes, the spirit of teamwork is equally built in students, pupils, and staff. Admission is ongoing. Please visit the school compound at number 16 Udosoro Street, a chapter for Uyo, Kwebom State. Where Fortune School! Fortune Schools, excellence through heart. is not the opposite of life, but a part of it. This part of life manifested in the Okpo's family as it snatched late elder and nephew James Okpo and landed him in a safer place to have eternal rest in the Lord. The funeral service commenced with a condolence visit and service of songs, which was conducted by the First African Church Mission on Thursday, 19th November 2020. The service of songs witnessed song renditions by different choir groups and preaching followed by the Friends Night on 20th November 2020. The grand finale of the funeral celebration took place on Saturday, 21st November 2020 with a commendation service at the St. Martin's First African Church Pro Cathedral, Ikodudobia, and St. Paul's First African Cathedral, Ikot Abasi, No. 1, Etienne Local Government Area of Akwaibum State, as a departed icon was a patron to both churches. <laughs> Commendation service in honor of our grand patron, a nephew James Oko. It was precisely in this cathedral that he was decorated. He was elected and later decorated at Ekorobia as the grand patron of the diocese. I want to remind us one thing. Of our good work will go with us. Whatever you are doing in life, there is a record. The church has a record. God has a record. Yes. Human being has a record. But what you will be remembered for is the record you kept while you are alive. The body moved to the funeral ground at the deceased compound in Ikot Udoabia. A tenant after the commendation service, followed by lying in state. <laughs> I 
Processional hymn was directed by the choir. Special Bible readings. A dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, our ever before on the earth, and the world even from everlasting now at God. Thou turnest me to destruction, and sages return ye, children of men. For a thousand years in the sight, and but as yesterday, when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carry them away as with a crowd. They are as asleep in the morning. They are as grass which grow up. In the morning it flourishes. The grandson of the deceased, Master Inyabasi Francis Okwo, read the biography. Therefore, where are we live for that? We are the Lord. Bear and parentage. Our grandpatron Ijo Okwo was born on the 12th of October. 1932. He was the fifth child and the third son of the family of six children. His father was Chief Dixonapanoko Umana Canadian, while his mother was Mrs. Jenny Dixonoko of Eko, no Roy Kaite, and no Essie anymore. The sermon was delivered by Right Reverend Levi Francis on the topic The Madness of Man with emphasis on the need for man to be in control of his attitude while on earth. Madness in him. Ogwo odo unam ara mai kebo ntendi onrem odo ida arisi na nyakire. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The reason being sometimes when man is full of himself or himself, he can go out and do what ordinary he or she cannot do and he or she is normal. And that action is caused either by anger, greed, envy, and unsatisfiedness in life. Friends, sympathizers, and well wishers turned out for offering led by the band. Minutes of silence was observed, followed by withdrawal. Then came the powerful and emotional moments when the body of the late elder and nephew of James Okwo was finally laid to rest. <laughs> Let grand patron Enefiok James Opo was born on the 12th of October 1932, obtained the Standard 6 in 1946, ventured into business in his early life while trading on confectionaries. He was actively involved in politics and was elected councillor representing his ward in 1961. The Cradle TV show crew had a one-on-one -on -one interview with the following personalities. Uh, if you look at the, the tributes, you will find out that all the tributes, uh, there is always element of integrity, element of uh, being straightforward, element of being uh, outspoken. Uh, I learned a lot from my father. I wish to be like him. Though he did not make much 
terms of money, but it was a force to record. Always and always, people relied on his own views. He was always a problem solver. When there is any deal, when they, they have dispute in the village, they will always come to him. So I would love to be like him. The only limitation he had was that he didn't have a so myself, I'm a PhD now, a PhD holder now, so if I can bring that integrity, that, you know, allowing things to follow due process into what I'm doing, then I will be very happy. Thank mm -hmm. you.